Hello developers, in this part of project we will learn how we can create a sign up API and in next video we will integrate this API in the react.js. So these are the major points for this video. First of all we will create a db and collection. After that we will create a configuration file, then we will create model, we will create route for API and at the last we will test our API with the postman. In last video I told you that we will just create a fresh database and then we will proceed with proceed with that so first of all i am creating a new database for us so let me just put a name here e-commerce and uh, we can also provide a collection name so we are creating a api for uh, sign up that's why we are putting this uh, a collection name user so that we can uh, create the login api with it so we are actually storing our user data here so we can just say that this is the users collection so let's put here users and now we can create the database now you can find there there is a fresh database with the zero size and uh, whenever we will open it we have a users uh, collection so for a moment i am just creating a dummy data here so that we can just get to know how we can create the any database entry with the mongodb compass so let me just create it uh, insert document and uh, this is a by default mongodb id it will automatically create it whenever we are inserting any new id with any of collection so let me add here um, name field and let's see name is test second one is email and again our email will be test at the rate test.com and last one is password and it will be like uh, abc or we can simply put here test and whenever I, we will just click on the insert here you can see that we got one entry in our table great so now uh, let's jump on the yes uh, after just some time we will just remove this entry because this is useless but for a moment we are keeping it great so in the second part we are creating a configuration file and uh, let's go to the project and here i am creating a new folder because this is a specific folder for database so here we will put the configuration file model file and all so let me put here uh, okay this is a folder name so let me just put here db and inside it i am creating one more file with the name of config.js and uh, what we need to do here we just need to provide here uh, two lines one is we are loading our mongodb then we have to provide here connection right so let me put here a const mongoose and we can just put here require and our package name which is again mongoose and after that we can create a connection so let me again take a mongoose dot connect function and here we will provide a string of our connection so we are using a local host so that uh, that will be a default um, string for connection which is mongodb colon slashes localhost and colon 27017 and at the last we have to provide our db name which is e-commerce and you can just match our uh, last thing uh, db name with your a database name from uh, mongodb compass right and keep in mind you don't need to put here collection name because we have lots of collection we can have more than one connection uh, collection in our uh, table so it will be come with the model not come with the configuration file right right so now let's load this file and we don't need this stuff so i am just removing it and even we don't need this uh, mm, mongodb inside our index file so i am also removing it so let me take a const and even for loading this configuration file we don't need a const so just simply put here 
uh, require and inside require we can put here our file path which is db and uh, then it will be config and that's it with that line our uh, configuration will be loaded in our index file all right so now let me create one more file which is uh, it should be come with the capital u user dot js this is basically our model for uh, users collection right so now again take a uh, load the mongoose and now we can just simply create a configuration file so let uh, just create schemas first in schemas we define our uh, collection field with the data type right so let's put here user even we can put here small u schema equal to new mongoose dot schema and uh, after that name it can be string it should be come without columns and uh, name okay name we already added so second one is email so email again it should be string and last one is password again it will be a string and you can see that you can match these all, all field with the database so we can provide all these fields with the uh, string value so let's say we have any uh, flag like true or false then we can provide here boolean we can add here other fields like uh, mm, boolean or uh, numeric and other things right but for a moment we have a very small collection we will just take only three fields name email and password that's why we are all adding as a string and we don't need any numeric and boolean values and all right so now let me just export this uh, module so I just need to put here module dot export equal to mongoose dot model and now we can simply put here users and we can simply add here our uh, schema name keep in mind this model name should be matched with your database collection right and user schema will come from here now we can uh, simply import it or, or load it inside our index file so let me again take a const user is uh, require db then we can put here config file great all right so after that what we need to do here we have to create here a uh route for our api so let me add here app so where this actually app come from it is coming from express so app dot post and it have two parameters first one is path so i am putting here register name because we are registering a new user we are signing up you can put here any name whatever you want but for um, for me uh, register will actually more suitable so i am putting here request and response to parameter also and so that we can check that everything is working fine or not so let me put here response dot send and i am putting here api in progress now let's uh, open the terminal and you can put here npm start or you can add here simply null moon the both will work same how the both can work same because uh, as you know in previous videos we added the norbun package which is uh, continuously check the changes in our application and restart the server and whenever you will open this package.json you will find that in script whenever we are running npm start it automatically called nodemoon so both are the same thing you can simply put here nodemoon or you can just simply start here npm start command the both will do the same work uh, all right so after that uh, our api is just uh, our project in, in running mode so we can test it with the postman so let me put here post method url it will be 5000 and then 
register and you can see that api in progress everything is working fine so now we can just pass the data from our postman to uh, node.js so that we can check that everything is uh, is this data should be entered inside our uh, database and if this data is working fine then our react js data can be easily sent inside our apis so let me just uh, put uh, select here row data and we will send the data as a postman so i am putting here again name and it will be let's say i am just adding here new user with the name of anil siddhu this is my name uh, i hope you know that and email and i am adding here email let's say anil at the rate test.com and this is not my actual email um, password and again i am putting here abc at the rate 123 password so how i can just get this data inside our node.js for that we need to do here two things first one uh, we have to just add here middleware so the middleware is basically uh, uh, just get this uh, postman data or react data in uh, node.js application so i am just adding here uh, app.use and uh, our, this is express dot json this is our middleware that will help us to get that uh, uh, file body inside our um, this route right so now i am just uh, changing this request with the request dot body now you will find that whatever i am sending from here it will be uh, response we are get we will get it in the response you can see that everything is working fine so with that way we are able to access our postman data or you can say that react js data in our node js so now how we can insert it inside the uh, mongodb for that what we can do here we just add to some just few line of code so let me add here let user and let's create an instance of model which is new user and inside it we have to just provide a request dot body that means whatever we are getting in from postman we are storing in our uh, user collection and uh, after that one more thing guys we have to just use here async method because uh, this user uh, this is basically instance of our uh, uh, user collection model it will have a promise actually so i am just using here result is user dot save and this will basically return a promise so we can handle it with the await keyword that's why i just added here async and now just uh, use this result in our api response so now let's check is it working fine or not all right so i guess uh, our api is not working or maybe there is some error so let me check what's wrong with it oh yes actually i just need to provide here db user right that's my bet now let's try again now you can see that we got the id and version also that means this is inserted in, in our database so let's check it you can uh, refresh it or you can just find it and here you can see that we have new entry with the last five four six and here you can see that five four six that means our entry is done so with that way we are just uh, done with our api and in next video we will integrate this api with the react js and you can get this code from my github account link will be given in the description box for this video thank you so much and uh, please support me by subscribe comment and like this video